Hey everyone, it's Robert, and today we're going to go ahead and take a look at this Oivo charger for the P5. It's not officially licensed, so they can't actually use PS5 or DualSense on the box, which should give you a hint on how this is going to go. Let's get this unwrapped. This is the Oivo charger station for the P5 controller. Yes, that does say P5 controller, not the PS5 controller, also known as the DualSense controller. Oivo stands for Originality, Ingenuity, Value, and Overall. So clearly this is a knockoff. Not officially licensed. So, you know, buyer beware if you're concerned about issues like that. Product characteristics. This dual controller charging dock is built with intelligent fast speed chip, providing the fastest speed to charge two controllers within two hours. Let's go ahead and get this opened up. Here we have a power cord, which is a USB-C to USB-C. We have the docking station itself, which is pretty slim. That's an interesting design. Don't like the fact, I don't like the fact that the base is narrower than the top that causes issues like this with instability. That's not a very good design. Have a set of instructions that came inside there. They'd love to hear from me. That's a warranty card, three year support, 45 day return and 90 day replacement. And here is another cord and this is USB-C to dual USB-A. So there is a USB-C port on the front panel of the PlayStation 5, so that allows this cord to plug in right there. We can then take the other end of the USB-C and plug it into the back. Plug it into the back here. It's pretty stiff, so it takes a little bit of a push. And there is an off and on switch on the back here, which is a nice little feature. So I went ahead and I plugged in the charger to the USB-C port and back, plugged into the USB-C port in the front of the PlayStation 5, and I've set my controllers on the charging station. As, as you can see, nothing's happening. And I flipped the switch on the back, and still, nothing's happening. Now when I took the PlayStation off of standby and then plugged it in, something happened. So it appears that in order for these to charge off of the front plate of your PlayStation 5, it can't be in standby which is not very optimal. Now, if you take the time to plug it into the back of the PS5 using both USB ports, then it does work when it's not in standby. So the power flaw really appears to be more the front panel versus rear panel and not something from their design per se, but just the design of the PS5. But however, that does pose a problem. And let's get into that in a minute. So here we have the Oivo power system next to the Nyko power system for the PlayStation 5. And here's some pros and cons. Pro to the Nyko, it's a little wider, it's more stable. You're gonna have a really hard time knocking the charger over or knocking your controllers out. However, it does require additional items to be put on the controller to get them to actually sit in there. However, Oivo does not require an additional attachment. Your controller takes a, not the easiest to get in there. It's not the easiest to get in there. And once you do, it's not very stable. So the Nyko only requires one USB input to charge two controllers. The Oivo requires you to plug in USB-C to either a single USB-C, which on the PS5, the USB-C is on the front panel which doesn't work during standby. So you won't be able to charge your controllers when the PS5 is in standby. And quite frankly, while I do like the fact that it's not as deep as the Nyko, so it's a little bit more space saving, I just don't like it. This is not a product I would buy 
nor is it a product that I would recommend to anyone. In fact, I'm also not that hyped on the Nyko system. I haven't had any issues with this one yet, but I did have one for the Xbox controllers, and that one has died already. So be careful with any third-party charging system that you're using, because quite frankly, neither of these would I recommend for you to purchase. Okay, so that's a big no on the Huevo charging station. There's just so many reasons not to get this. One, the DualSense doesn't seat in there very well. Two, the base is narrower than the top, so it's easy to knock over. Three, it requires two USB-A ports to one USB-C, or requires a USB-C to USB-C. In order to get the USB-C off your PlayStation 5, you'd have to have it plugged into the front panel, which means it won't charge when the system's in standby. So, if that's not enough reasons for you, go out and get one if you want then. Be my guest. However, for my money, I wouldn't spend it on this, and I don't suggest you do either. The people at Oivo did in fact send me one of these. Thanks for considering me, but I can't tell anybody that this is a good product to buy. Let me know in the comments below on what you'd like to see me unwrap next. And if you found value or enjoyed this video, make sure to hit like and consider subscribing. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. That's where that belongs.